Hello, uh, welcome again. Thanks for watching. Uh, so now I'm going to nickel plate a penny. So I'm going to turn this brownish, kind of dirty looking penny into a nice, very nice silver version of a penny by electroplating nickel metal onto the surface by conducting a current through it. So the first step is to actually clean the penny and I figured I would throw in the cleaning step because it's it's just useful to know uh, especially if you don't have super clean pennies to work with and so we'll do that first and then we'll make it shiny and silvery and wonderful so a very a very useful way to clean a penny is with just your plain old white distilled vinegar acetic acid uh, which you can get from any like store uh, usually it's five percent and then sodium chloride table salt so very simple you just put these into a container and stir it up, mix it up well, and put the penny in there with it, uh, and it will clean off the surface very nicely in most cases. And what it's actually kind of interesting, what you end up with is something like this. So this is a solution I already made, uh, which was the vinegar and table salt for uh, cleaning a penny. And you see it's kind of blue. My gloves are blue, but the solution's blue. That's because copper ions were actually loosed off of the surface of the penny that I cleaned last time, or the pennies that I cleaned last time. Uh, and so the same thing should happen here, but the more important thing is that the surface becomes nice, shiny, and coppery bright. So to clean the penny, which is now sitting there in our nice table salt uh, acetic acid solution, I'm gonna use a stir plate, something fancy like that, but you can just uh, you know stir a solution of it in a cup with water. And I'm just going to let it stir up, mix around for a while, while the penny is sitting in there. It's best if you can get the penny to not be flat on the bottom like this, so more of the surface area can get cleaned. Uh, but the bottom line is you just leave it in there enough time and mix around the solution and the penny will turn out nice and clean. It's, ar it's already actually a little bit shinier than it was, so I'll come back when it's clean here. But it'll just take like a minute. So the first thing before actually doing uh, electroplating that I want to do is make sure my power supply is pumping voltage. So I'm using an old uh, cell phone charger and I kind of jerry-rigged it to have open ends here so uh, be safe if you do anything like this uh, and don't tell anyone that I told you to if you get hurt but in any case it, this is just 5 volts so we're, it's a pretty safe thing. So I'm just going to put the, the black terminal on the black wire and the red onto, in this case, the white wire and see how the voltage turns out. And so we have... We have that it's hard to hold a camera and do this at the same time. There we go. Yeah, so I'm touching the terminals and I have about 5 volts, which is solid because that is how the product is advertised. Great. That's what's on the label, anyway. Okay, so now, next step. Okay, so my anode, which is the thing that attracts anions, which is negatively charged ions, is this Canadian coin. I think it's like a few cents. It's actually cut in half, and I got it straight off of eBay. So, there's a nickel anode. I wasn't expecting a Canadian coin, but it works quite well. There's plenty of nickel on the surface. I think it's actually solid nickel. Uh, might not be, but there's enough to do the plating, so it works. So this is the anode. This is what will be attached to the positive end of the the voltage supply. So I'm going to do that. So the setup is going to look like this. Um, I'm going to have my little beaker jar with the nickel solution in it, which is a blue uh, aqueous solution that I'll show you. I'm going to heat the solution up to 60 degrees Celsius to get things moving, <clears throat> which I found is about the best temperature for this setup. And of course my anode is going to have the nickel Canadian coin on it, and then the cathode, which is going to attract the cations and thereby has the negative end of the terminal, uh, is the penny itself. So the penny is going to attract nickel ions in solution, they're Ni, Ni plus 3 uh, ions to the penny. So I put 5 volts through this, and when the liquid is there, it'll actually conduct electrons from the nickel coin to the penny, and then the nickel ions will actually get fixed and bonded to the copper surface. 
So I used 2.53 grams of nickel ammonium sulfate hexahydrate for this. You can get that online, uh, but uh, this is really more of an example because it's kind of one of my favorites. Easier things to do would be to, to try to plate copper onto a nickel surface, kind of the inverse process because copper salts are kind of easier to get. You can get uh, copper sulfate, it's stump remover, it, it's a blue crystal, uh, and use that and just switch the terminals to plate, plate copper onto nickel. But in any case, I use 2.53 grams of this nickel salt, uh, nickel ammonium sulfate hexahydrate in roughly 100 milliliters of some acetic acid, which is the vinegar, uh, to again to get things moving electrolytically. Put it at 60 degrees Celsius. So here's the setup. Uh, this is my hot plate, and I'm gonna uh, put the surface temperature up to something such that I can get the actual fluid to 60 degrees Celsius. So usually I end up doubling, roughly doubling the surface temperature. So I'm going for 120 here. And then I'll put the, the solution in there. So that's this, this is the nickel ammonium sulfate. I'm gonna put it in there. And you got the terminals. There's the penny on the left and the Canadian coin nickel on the right. And I'll, th that actually, ha it's plugged in, so the current is running right now. There's just no connection medium to actually tr transfer electricity between them right now. So that's what this is gonna be for in the process. It also helps that it has nickel in it because there's just more nickel to work with to the penny. And uh, just to satisfy your curiosity, if you have it, this is what the nickel ammonium sulfate hexahydrate salt looks like. So it's a really pretty kind of blue green crystal. Looks like that. So that's what's dissolved in the vinegar solution, which is mostly water. So since I didn't show you already, uh, that's what the copper uh, penny looks like right after I cleaned it up, so it's much more shiny and nice uh, with that vinegar salt bath. So this is what I'll be using for the plating. It's actually not quite perfect, like I, I plated with a lot better uh, clean coins, but this one should be fine. It should have a nice silver luster to it after. Okay, so it's roughly 53 degrees Celsius in solution now, so I'm happy with that. I've already put the uh, anode in the nickel coin, and now goes the penny. Goodbye, little guy. You can probably see it already doing things. Some bubbling going on on the surface. I'm going to leave it just half submerged so that the difference between the initial... Uh, excuse me here. The initial state and the final state is clear. So there is a nice coat of nickel there. It's already off to a good start. So there is the final product, for now anyway. Just to emphasize the clear difference between the original copper color and the new nice silvery color, which comes from nickel metal. So that really is nickel metal bonded to the penny. It's not like uh, some coat of paint or even like I drew on it or anything like that. It's uh, straight up chemical bonded to the surface of the copper. So it's a process called electroplating to make layers of metal. It's actually what they use in um, a lot of electronics, like RAM cards and computers, have a layer of uh, copper, nickel, and then gold. Uh, and the gold is the, the top layer, which uh, doesn't degrade like most metals or get oxidized, and it's highly conductive. So it's very useful to do, do layering for electronics and stuff. Uh, but that's just kind of a fun example. I have some more here. Uh, of what I've done in the past. A lot of them are kind of outdated now, so they don't look too nice. But this is a penny that has been fully nickel plated. So that's been fully nickel plated. That's no longer a coppery color at all. It's pretty nice on the back there. Um, and then I tried, I've tried gold plating a lot. Um, kind of notice on this dime a little bit of gold tint. 
but it's really hard to do gold plating. I'm still trying to get good at it without using any uh, cyanide compounds. I've just been dissolving gold in aqua regia, which is HCl and NO3, HNO3, sorry, nitric acid and hydrochloric acid. Yeah, so there's a number of examples here, but that's about it for now. Uh, let me know if you have questions. I love doing this stuff, so uh, I can share anything I have when I get the time. All right, see you.